Hi Taurus, welcome to your December 2017 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. Shuffling the cards. Okay. The central theme, the focus of this reading is the death card. The death card oftentimes is feared by people because they think of physical death, but a lot of times this indicates a time of transition, an ending of some sort for sure, but it could be a matter of death that relates to inheritance, for instance, because I did get some cards that may suggest that. I got the inheritance card right here, okay? So I'm trying to think here. You did have a, sorry about that. Let's see, let me think about, yeah, because your eighth house is activated in December. Um, your eighth house is Sagittarius, so there's a lot of energy. New um, moon there, the Saturn finishing its go ahead, its go around in that sector. Um, I'm sure Venus is in there at some point. But, um, for some people, it could be something along those lines. It could be a Scorpio person uh, that is really important for you during this time. There could also be a job that you have quit or that there's a layoff. <clears throat> and in the past position, we have here the Four of Pentacles, which is about money management. Now this is your card because you are somebody who is an earth sign. So earth signs connect to pentacles. And the four of pentacles could be somebody who's holding on too tightly to money. Maybe this is somebody else in your family who is trying to wrestle an estate away from you. And um, let's see what else we got here. The Three of Cups could be a card that there are multiple parties, maybe siblings who are duking it out. In the case of some kind of um, romantic situation, you may have ended a relationship with a fellow earth sign. Maybe it was a Capricorn. I, was, I, I said I think of Capricorns. It's possible that that person is um, too much of a drinker, a partier, or that they were having an affair, or maybe they have an issue with going after multiple women as this card suggests. That could be for any kind of personal relationship. But whatever is going on in this scenario, the higher message is that you need to choose peace. This is about leaving troubled environment and flowing towards peace, moving. Sometimes this can mean actual relocation. And, but it's definitely moving away, right underneath that death card. A lot of transition. <clears throat> and so, it may, be, it may seem like 
everything is up in the air and you did have um, a full moon in your sign earlier in the month so there there's transition even at that point the death of the old what crosses you is represented by the world card now the world card is the last card of the major arcana number 21 and so we're reading this as a challenge card so it could be some situation where you're trying to end something but there is just that one last detail that just <laughs> keeps everything from being settled so trying to tie up loose ends and not being able to why would that be trying to resolve something sometimes it's on your part you may say I deserve if this is an inheritance thing I deserve this this belongs to me and yet as the spiritual message suggests it's time to choose peace what is coming in or yeah I think it would be more like what's coming in is represented by the ten of pentacles which is the inheritance card it suggests that eventually you will get what is coming to you this is family money this is financial security if this is a person I think it could be like a Capricorn individual perhaps that somebody who um, if you were dating this person casually they may have simply wanted to date around and not settle down and that may have rubbed you the wrong way and being a Taurus you may have been jealous possessive of this person and perhaps they didn't mean anything by it it wasn't that they didn't care about you but perhaps if you have broken it off with that person they eventually realize that they would like to be with you and they come back and again as I said in well maybe I didn't say it to you but in December we have a Mercury retrograde for most of the month so you may hear back from somebody during December and it might be that person the outcome is the two of swords and maybe some of you you know I didn't think of it um, but maybe some of you are the ones that are like choosing between a Taurus I mean, uh, well, like a Capricorn and a, and a Scorpio or something like that. And so now you have to make up your mind, like who you're going to be with. I'm trying to see who that thing is. Yeah. And this can even be about a decision if you want to leave or not. Maybe you have been thinking about that yourself, that you want to move but somebody might be keeping you here because they really like you and you really like them and so now you have a decision on your hands what do I do so that is interesting it's funny somebody wrote to me today and said but you didn't really say what the um, out you know you didn't really like I didn't resolve the reading and um, I don't necessarily resolve readings. You are the one that decides how things go. So sometimes things don't wrap up as nice and neatly as we would like. I'm going to pick a card from a new deck that I got in the mail. I'll show you this. I'm going to link, I'm going to start linking all the decks I use below when I use them in a reading. This is um, the Akashic Tarot. And the, this is the back. I think Taurus people would like it because it's green. I love, I have Taurus Rising. I love the color green. You know, one of the things I just noticed is that it's got like this faded 
a gold kind of color. It's really cool. Okay, I'm shuffling the cards. I decided to become an Amazon affiliate and just promote all the decks that I use because sometimes people do ask me. And so um, if I use more than one deck, I'll put both of them below. My go-to deck is the Morgan Greer deck that you see in front of you. Okay. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> I have to look in the book. I have no idea. Add some? I have no idea what that means. A woman is sitting and she's holding a book and there seem to be angels right by her. This is, when I um, ordered this deck, I assumed it was going to be a regular tarot deck that would have like 78 cards is the normal deck. And when I got it, and I looked at the booklet, it said 62. And I was like, uh-oh, what's this all about? And they talk about how it's different, that some of the interpretations aren't necessarily, um, you know, like the Rider weight deck is the, is the deck that we consider to be the source of all interpretations of the tarot and they say no you know the, the tarot has been around since the 1500s so I think or is it the 1400s I'm not sure but uh, the Rider Waite deck only came about I think in 1910 or something so it's only been around a little over 100 years so how they get that they are the definitive version of things who knows okay let me see I'm just going to read what it says. A candle casts a light on an open book held by a young woman sitting at a desk. Her eyes are drawn to the side as if she were distracted from her reading by a curious thought or someone nearby. She is surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel bends and whispers, Add some, I arrive, I am here, I attend you. Add some is a single word that has many, many meanings. First, it affirms your own strength and focus in the present. You can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. This card also reminds you to be assured that no matter What's happening in your life? Spirit is always there for you. They reach out to you, sharing their light and power and serving you in every way. From the least to the highest, from grandma to the divine, an eternal community attends you. You can act on your promise to God as spirits lift you upon their shoulders. You are present for each other, and together you arrive at your dreams. Well, to try to tie it to this particular reading, you know, we just have to go back to the death card. Because it's very possible that somebody in your life who has passed is somehow a, um, a part of whatever is going on in December. The typical response given the ten of pentacles is that it has to do with some kind of an estate situation and remembering the spirit of that person to kind of bring you back into what really matters can make all the difference because even if you feel like you're being um, cheated out of something if you are respecting someone's wishes, you're never going to go in the wrong direction. Usually the ego wants to be important in any situation. And when it feels like it's being treated as second best, then it tries to assert itself. But uh, ultimately, in these types of situations, we have to respect the wishes of the person who has crossed over who made a will and left what they left to whoever. And that's where the pain 
uh, comes from because we we attach emotional um, significance to dollar amounts. That four of pentacles can be somebody who is a miser, who is holding on to their money way too much, who is too materialistic. And so it's important to put money and possessions in their proper context. As a Taurus, this is really um, a challenge for you because you rule the second house of earned income and possessions. So it's not unnatural for you to kind of gravitate towards these types of situations in life. But to do, do it at an elevated level. Don't do it at a grasping level. And you will impress everyone around you because you will be the person who knows the true value of, you know, what money represents and putting it in its proper context in life. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a private reading, uh, speaking of dollars and cents, I am offering 20% off through the end of December 2017. And uh, the, the, the coupon code is JUPITER, all caps, and you put it in on checkout. There's um, a box for that, and it'll take off the amount. Otherwise, have an awesome holiday, and Happy New Year. Take care. Bye.